Moving on. Moving on is a skill. Moving on is not something that's easy or hard. We make it easy or hard based on how we perceive the world. Moving on is a very, very normal and human part of our existence. When you graduate high school and you go to college, you're moving on to something else. When you get a promotion, you're moving on to something else. When you start a new job, you're moving on to something else. When you meet a new friend or when you learn something new, you are moving on to something else. We are moving on every single day. We have to stop saying things like moving on is hard. Moving on is not hard. Moving on is a very natural and normal part of our human existence. We age, we grow, we mature, we experience things, we learn, we gain things, we lose things. Moving on is not hard. You have to stop thinking it's hard. What's hard is staying in a situation when you know it's over. You wouldn't stay in high school for seven or eight years. Why? Because high school is only a four year experience. We have to accept that most of the things we go through have an end point and they have a start point. When it comes to relationships, moving on can be hard because we feel like we have all of these emotions and these thoughts and we had hopes and we had dreams and we had plans we had ideas we gave up parts of who we were to this relationship to this person and then when the relationship fails we feel like we lost or we're a failure or we're not good enough or we didn't do enough or we picked the wrong person or all of these negative thoughts go through our head I and mean, we have to stop doing that moving on if it's normal outside of a relationship, we have to understand it's normal inside of a relationship too. The thing about moving on is, is there's certain skills and the skills to move on are really mental skills. I would say step number one is you really want to stop thinking like a victim. You know, this only happens to me. I'm the worst at this. The, the world is against me. This person is against me. You really don't want to think like a victim because that makes you small. That makes you so small and it makes you powerless and there's no reason to operate in this world without power you need to feel powerful you need to feel useful not useless so the first thing that i would do if i had to get over something or someone is i would stop talking like a victim because when you talk like a victim you then create that life and everything follows that victim mindset. New activity, that's what I would look for. I would look for new activity. And what that means is if you had a particular life with a particular person and you're doing a particular set of things, now maybe it's time for us to switch it up. Maybe I move out of my apartment, get a new apartment. Maybe I sell my house and get a new house because I was in a house with this person for 15 years. Maybe it's time for me to get a new job drive a new route home from school maybe it's time for me to get new friends right and of course someone's gonna say oh well all of that sounds easy you know or easier said than done well it's not about easy it's not about hard it's about one thing do you want to suffer or do you want to be happy that's it and if you want to be happy you have to make choices you have to make changes change your life right if you want to be happy you're gonna have to make some changes or incapable of doing that and you don't desire that then the only other option you have left is to have a strong mind and to have the right mindset uh, throughout the duration of change and um, I'll leave you with this. This is the third thing you can't assume. So this is called classical conditioning. You assume that one person gave you pain and now everybody else is going to give you pain. One person did this to you. Everybody else is going to do this to you. This is a horrible mindset that people have in dating. You can't do that. You can't think because your ex did X, Y, Z to you that every single person is like them. You have to heal and you have to heal. So when you meet new people, you give them the best version of you. If you give someone a version of you that's full of pain and you're always expressing that pain, you're talking like a victim. Most likely they're going to treat you like that because that's where that's where you are operating at right now. So when you go through things, you have to heal. You have to bounce back. You have to overcome so you can introduce yourself as a new, healthy, happy, motivated, successful, loving, trusting person so then they can treat you like that. Because if you're acting in the opposite, they're going to treat you at, like you're at the bottom of the totem pole. But if you treat yourself well, if you talk to yourself kindly, you have compassion and love in your heart and you give that to yourself and the world, then people are going to treat you accordingly. So you really need to heal before you move on. You got to heal before you can feel again. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. There's about 100 videos on my channel. Don't leave now. Go watch something else. Go watch another video. I got videos on moving on, on when to know if you should quit your job, on self-confidence, on self-love. There's so many other videos that I've made for you on how to find yourself. Click the link below and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit that bell notification. My videos will come right to you. And um, I hope you guys have a good day, man. I really do. Really do. Peace and love. Peace.